everybody knows and is here in the last time. <laughs> him and I kind of had a back and forth. I uh, appreciate your demeanor today. It's quite different. But after you left here, you got pretty excited about the keyboard. In fact, you tweeted at me one, two, three, four, five times. And let me read what the last one said. Um, it said, greedy CEO who pretends like he's self-made. Sir, I wish you was in the truck with me when I was building my plumbing company myself and my wife was running the office because I sure remember working pretty hard in long hours. Pretends like he's self-made. What a clown. Fraud. Always has been, always will be. Quit the tough guy act in these Senate hearings. You know where to find me. Any place, any time, cowboy. Sir, this is a time, this is a place. You want to run your mouth? We can be two consenting adults. We can finish it here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect. You want to do it now? I'd love to do it right now. Well, stand your butt up then. You stand your butt up. Oh, hold on. Big oh, hold, stop it. Is that your right. solution every poll? Oh, no, no, sit down. Right, sit down. Okay. You know, you're a United States senator. Sit down. Active. Oh, okay, okay. Sit down, please. All right. Can I respond? Mr. Hold Shin. it. Hold it. If hold we can't, no, I have the mic. I'm sorry. This is hold what it. he said. You'll have your time. Okay. Can I respond? Oh, no, you can't. <laughs> this is a hearing. And God knows the American people have enough of contempt for Congress. Let's not I don't make like it worse. Thugs and you, bullies. You have, and you have, I don't like you because you just described yourself. Yeah, hold it. You have the mic. Yeah. You have time. All make right. Your statement. Bless Senator Bernie Sanders. If I were the chairman of the committee, um, I would have simply said, gentlemen, here's the issue. Between you both, it's nothing but as an opportunity. Mm -hmm. That's it. So if you feel froggy, somebody needs to jump. All right, put up the picture full of mass. Uh, so yes, one was talking reckless and insinuated basically, hey, you know, if you want some, come and get some. Now that was keyboard courage talk, all right? He took keyboard courage talk and brought it to the man directly. Uh, I do like how even in their breaking of all the rules, they decided not to use profanity, but said, but instead, you get your <laughs> butt up. No, you get your butt up. <laughs> okay, so tension soared Tuesday during the Senate um, Help Committee hearing as um, Senator Mullen, a former mixed martial arts fighter, by the way, challenged Teamsters President Sean O'Brien to a physical fight during the union leader's testimony. The confrontation escalated to the point where Senator Sanders had to step in as a referee, defuse the situation, and prevent a possible physical confrontation. So Senator Mullen um, took, the, <laughs> took the mic to blast the Teamsters boss regarding personal attacks made against Mullen in June 2023, specifically mentioning uh, the tweet where O'Brien called Mullen a greedy CEO who pretends like he's self-made in reality. It's just a clown and fraud, always has been always will be, all right? Um, and then the quit the tough guy act in these Senate hearings. You know where to find me, any place, any time, cowboy. Well, all right. Mother's estimated net worth ranges from 31.6 to 75.6 million, all right? So as Mullen continued to read the tweet, he landed on the uh, ending. Quit the tough guy act in these Senate hearings. You know where to find me, any place in the time, cowboy. Um, hashtag little man syndrome. And share this photo of Mullen on an apple box crate. <laughs> okay. O'Brien <laughs> O'Brien was at the Tuesday, November 14th hearing at um, Sanders' invitation to testify to the Senate Health, Education, Labor, and Pensions Committee. Once again, the Help Committee about how unions are improving the lives of working families. Sanders, the committee chairman, might not have been aware of the previous contentious feelings between the union rep and the Oklahoma senator. After the hearing, Mullen was firm on his position, did not apologize to the union leader or the public for his conduct. Quote, he called me out. He said, anytime, any place. You don't call me out and say anytime, any place, and then not back up what you said. I answered the call, period. The GOP rising star said, according to the Hill, Mullen 
was also asked if he believed he should be held to a higher standard because he is a member of the Senate. Quote, I'm still a guy, end <laughs> quote. <laughs> the husband and father of six said, he called me, he said it, I just answered the bell. That was all. Speaking about the incident on Fox News, Sean Hannity praised Mueller's actions. Uh, and uh, here's some of the conversation. Senator, I gotta be honest, I don't think this is gonna hurt you with the people of Oklahoma. I think your pop popularity probably will go up uh, tenfold as a result of that. He called you out, you called him out for calling you out. And that's kind of old school the way it used to be, isn't it? Right. Yeah, well, yeah, it is. And in Oklahoma, I mean, people tell me, I've had media come out to me and says, this isn't coming of a senator. I was like, listen, I'm a guy from Oklahoma first. In Oklahoma, you don't do this. Maybe you run your mouth in New Jersey. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not from New Jersey, but this is some thug. That's a mob boss and you're supposed to be intimidating because he's the boss of the Teamsters. You still aren't going to run your mouth at me and expect me to just sit there. And, and you should have seen the fear of his eyes when I stood up too. I'm not joking. I, I'm not looking for a fight. I used to get paid to fight professionally and, and it's not personal to me. I'm not mad at this guy. Guy. I mean, he said it. I'm just answering the call. That's it. If he wants to go out afterwards and have a cup of coffee, let's go have a cup of coffee. I'm friends with a lot of guys that I used to fight. I, I unfortunately, <laughs> I grew up in I, I grew up in the country of Oklahoma. You did the same thing that you did when you grew up, and you settled your issues and you went on with it. And there was no hard feelings by it. Well, a few times there's hard feelings, especially if you if you won. But if you lost, you just kind of took your lickings and you get, you learn from it, right? And, and we need more of this. To be quite frank, I'm not saying more violence, but we need more people to be taught a lesson and and be called out on what they say. I think any other response kind of would have been a little gutless. Uh, that, but it, you know, there I would agree with that. I mean, what do people want me to do? If I didn't do that, people in Oklahoma would be pretty upset at me. That's not how we <laughs> raise. I'm right. supposed to represent Oklahoma values. Oklahoma values. Put up the picture. Sir, I'm from Glenwood Road. Here's what we saw. We saw an 82 year old US Senator stop a former M. M a fighter from doing what he said he wanted to do. If you allow an 82 year old individual to stop you from fighting, sir, we question if you had any fight in you. It's real simple. Mullen is a former MMA fighter with a professional record of five and zero. He beat up five people in his life. Five. He was inducted into the Oklahoma Wrestling Hall of Fame in 2016. How does that happen? Mullen is also the first, um, as he says, Native American senator in almost two decades. Okay. Um, yeah, it was weird. That was ridiculous. Uh, and, and naturally, if he really wanted to do something, you can wait after, after the hearing. Uh, if you really want to do something, there's a hallway. All right. Everybody has to go down. I've been there before. Uh, before or after. Uh, to do it while the cameras are on, while uh, police officers are present, and while the Senate is officially, well, in the commission of the hearing, that is when you decide to bring it up for the cameras. Come on, man, that's Hollywood. Get real, all right? Okay, Francesca, am I wrong here? I mean, no, you're 100% right. Look, this is about the actual issue, which is what are the values that Sean O'Brien, head of the Teamster, stands for? And that is union values, right? Working class, uh, protecting the working class of America values, right? Making sure that workers uh, are paid fairly, that they have negotiating and bargaining rights, that they're not bullied by their bosses. That is what the Teamsters represent. So right. Mark Mullen and this, or Mark Wayne, excuse me, the dumbest <laughs> name ever. This dude says his values are what? Trying to throw a punch, trying to be a tough guy in a literal Senate hearing? Are you kidding me? What about the workers of Oklahoma? What about the Teamsters of Oklahoma? Oklahoma? What about the truck drivers of Oklahoma? What about those folks? This goes back to the fact that earlier in March, the two of them had it out because Mullen was mad at O'Brien because Mullen, because he said that the Teamsters tried to unionize his plumbing company. Right. In other words, he is a, just like any most bosses, a boss who doesn't want his workers like fighting for a better wage, fighting for better living, working conditions, and such. So th this is this is the disagreement. And look. Hats off to the Shans in the union, in, in our unions, man. You got Sean Fain, you got Sean O'Brien, both of them represent a new class of working class hero who's not gonna take all this corporate crap lying down. They're gonna stand up for themselves. And we've seen the proof of the pudding as with the UAW strike. Yep, there you go. Very well said. All right, we will bring you an update if they ever 
throw them hands. Well, let's know who won, okay? <laughs> All right.